Pretty straight. We have 10 moves. We're going to go through all 10 of those moves one time, and then we're going to circle back. So if there's a unilateral move where we use a right leg or a left leg, um, let's always just do the right one first, so that way we know we go back to the left to do the left side. 10 moves, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're going to go straight through these bad boys. Variety of dumbbells, so if you have a pair of lights, mediums and heavies, pull them out. Um, obviously, use whatever you have, and just remember that um, that mind-body connection. So, when I'm working a strength move, when I'm working a strength move, I need to focus on the muscle group that I'm working. So, um, let's get ready with the warm up. Let me just tell my dog. Hold on, Claire. Claire, get ready to talk. Call you back. She does I swear, seriously. Okay, guys, just give me a little step cut. <laughs> Good old hand curl and just pull the arms back. It was funny yesterday. I walked to the post office downtown Naperville. It's about a little over a mile for me. And then just tap that down. My husband volunteered to drive and go with me or whatever. And I was like, no, I'll go to the post office myself. So one of those things, just using little chores for sanity. Give yourself some shoulder rolls right here, guys. You still have that little tap. Good. Now take it to a step touch. Step touch. Bring those arms in. And just do a little pivot as you step touch. Nothing fancy. You're going to stay wide and pivot right here. Stay wide and pivot. And just remember this moves are a combination of the cardio and strength together. Hold this center, guys. Right here, just give me a squat, pull through a bit. <clears throat> oh, good. So I go back and watch the videos and I hear myself, it sounds like I'm screaming, so I'm gonna try not to use my loud inside teaching boys two more one and two hold it here i want you to squat bring that foot over for a figure four sit step out come back and sit one of those hips right here good two more and last one excellent switch sides Step out. Sit. Two more guys. And last one. Good. Good. And then a little further, we're up and over. Round four each side. This is four. Switch up and over. And four. Good. Get those arms going. Big arms. Hold and then reverse. Big, big. Big, big. And hold it center, big shoulder roll, guys. Starting with first move, several of these, most of these you've seen before. You're gonna have the arms up. We're not starting yet, but just watch it go doot, doot, down, up. So left, right, down, up. We keep the legs wide the whole time. 30 or 50 seconds. Our option to pick up dumbbells. Drop dumbbells, whatever works for you. Starting out wide, ready? Here you go. Left, right, down, jump. Left, right, down. Option, no jumping. Left, right. And again, you can pick up that pace. But remember, you got that 50 seconds worth. We're gonna do this move just one time.
You're halfway. We have 20 seconds left. Right. Down. Bend your knees. Drop your butt. Five seconds. Come on. Last one. Stop. Ten seconds off. Next one. You have skaters forward, skaters back. Going up four, back four. Ready? Go. So, boom, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, keep going. One, two. Skating up four. And back. Five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. One. And stop. Ten seconds off. Dumbbells. Probably a medium pair of dumbbells. Medium, medium. Ready? You have a side raise with the forward. Here you go. It's a side, forward, back, down. Side raise, forward, back, and down. So squeeze, push, back, down. You got it. Now, I don't have a pair of super challenging dumbbells. I either went through a five or a 12. So I really have to focus on that squeeze. I've also added a balance element to it where I'm balancing on one leg because I have those lighter dumbbells. Keep going, come on. Lift, punch, back, down. One more, boom. You got this. Put them down. Next move, we have 10 seconds off. 10 seconds off. You're going to step touch. So step touch, step touch, shuffle together. Step touch, step touch, shuffle together. Add the arms. Two. Option. Just to keep that step touch. Step touch, step touch, take it together. You got it. Boom. Boom. You can roll big. Now remember, when we go through these on this other set, and we come back through, just know, you know the exercise. If you need to add more intensity, do. If you need less, you do that. Come on. And stop. Stop, stop, stop. You're gonna sit down, you need a pair of light dumbbells. Light dumbbells, sit. Hold your dumbbells up, ready? I'm gonna come back, roll up. So my legs are wide, my arms have a slight bend. Scoop, come down. So all the way back, all the way up. If this isn't in your wheelhouse, hold a 50 second plank, do standing abs. So all the way back and up. 50 seconds worth. Come on. You guys keep going. You have another 10 seconds. You have another 10 seconds. And then you're going to come back up to your feet. Five seconds. Five seconds. And stop. You're back up to your feet. You have, you're going to go to a deadlift, upright row. Deadlift, upright row. Ready? Go, hinge forward. Let those dumbbells slide across the front of your legs. Upright row, you got it. Two down, two up with a big row. When I come up, I'm going to squeeze my butt, squeeze through my shoulders, mindful of not letting those hips push forward. So we don't want this. Okay, it's down two. Squeeze and lift. Let those dumbbells skim your thighs. 
You got it. 20 seconds, team. You have heavier? Go heavy. If I want more challenge, I can bring those feet to more of a narrow base. So it's hamstrings and butt. Spine is nice and long. One more rep, team. One more rep. Boom. Put it down. Put them down. You are going to go to one dumbbell. You have a Russian twist and a lunge. Left foot forward. Or actually, I said it's going to be right foot. Right foot forward. Ready? Doubles out, shoulder height. You're going to lunge down, twist, stand. It's down, twist, stand. Lunge, option. To not do the lunge, you can keep it with a squat and do this move, but it's a short amount of time. So you have another 20 seconds. Come up. My arms aren't dropping at all. I have those up. Right shoulder height. Come on, down and up. Five seconds. One more. Woo, baby. There you go. Get rid of it. Ten seconds off. You have, you're gonna pick up. You can keep that side light, light dumbbell. Feet stay low. Give a little twist. Now the target is keeping the feet low. It's not a high jumping move. Same thing. I have my arms, shoulder height, twisty twist. Come on. Twenty seconds, team. Crank them out. Go, go. Now it's 20, I lied to you. I didn't mean to. Sorry. And stop. Put it down. Dumbbells for a fly. So, I want to go. It's a fly in a row. It looks like this. It's a single, single, double row. Ready? Go. Right, left, row together. Right, left, elbows go straight back. Right, woo, baby, left, pull it together. Right, left. Now I'm using 12s on these, and it's pretty challenging for that reverse fly. Right, left, come on, big row. When I roll back, I want to think about pulling the elbows in by my sides. Keep going, keep going, and stop. All right, we went through that one time. We already went through that one time, guys, which was awesome. We have one more time. Go through it all. Actually, I might have a little bit three times. We're going. In 20 seconds, back to the beginning. 15 seconds, and we're repeating. Ready? Starting with that wide. And go, feet are wide. You're gonna tap, tap, center, jump. Boom, boom, center, jump. It's a tap, tap, down, jump. Option to add hop. When I land, I land wide. I let my butt and quads absorb that and not my knee. So land with the soft knee. 10 seconds. And stop. 10 seconds off. You're gonna skate forward, skate back, up four, back four. Ready? Go. Whoops. 
six, seven, eight, go up, two, and back. Let's leg forward, 
Arms out, here you go. Lunge, twist, lift. What am I looking for? Looking for that lunge position. Basically 90-90, front and back. Front knee lines up over the ankle. Back knee, as under the hip as you can get it. If you're too far back, you'll start to feel it more in your hip flexor. Remembering that the lunge movement is about quad. This is the working leg. You also have shoulders working. Come on. Two more. Come on, guys. You can do this. We're in this together. Put it down. Put it down. We have the twisty jump. Put that thing down. We got that little jump. We're ready right here. Go. Twist it out. Remember, listen lightly for your feet. Try not to hear your feet. Nice carry. Yep. Come on. Cam and Brooke, you're very, very light on your feet, okay? You don't want to hear yourself jumping around. Try to relax the shoulders, even though we're isolating them and working them. 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds, if you can do anything for 10. And stop. Stop the floor. Reverse fly with a row. Reverse fly with a row. Yeah, grab them. Move side, hinge forward. And it's my fly. Here we go. It's left, right, row center. Left, right, row center, you got it. Left, right, with control. Left, right, row and center, you got it. Left, right, row center. Keep going. Two more. Last one, guys. Last one. Excellent. Put it down. Put them down. Pick up your light dumbbells for that zigzag. Light dumbbells for your zigzag. Ready? Go wide with your legs. Right here. Zigzag. Punch. One, two, punch. One, two, Punch. Punch. Come on, stay the course. One, two, punch. One more other side. Boom, get rid of it. Grab a pair of dumbbells to that side raise. Forward push. Ooh, I need to make my notes in larger font. Here you go, ready? Side raise, push forward, come back, down. Squeeze, push, back, down. Squeeze, push, back, down. All the way. Squeeze. Push it back down. Squeeze. Push back down. Back down. Five. One more rep, one more. Back, down, good. Shoulder off. Take 30 seconds off. We're gonna go through everything one more time, 30 seconds only. And I'm gonna try my best 
to get it in the right order. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Make a wager. Make a wager. All right, team. 30 seconds work. We're back to that skater. Here's my challenge. Can you use like dumbbells for these moves? Let's try it. We're only going 30 seconds. And it'll be about a five second transition to the next. Ready? Arms up. Tap that toe. Center. Punch. Left. Right. Center. Up. Left. Right. Center. Five seconds. Let's do one more. Come on, again. Good. Put them down. We're hanging with that skaters. Ready? Skate up four. Here you go. Go back. Keep going, keep going. You have 30 seconds more. Five seconds to go. Five seconds. Ready? Stop. Slightly heavier to dumbbells. Side raise. Ready? Go. Side. Push forward. Back. Down. Remember, we had that option to add a balance if we wanted. But I really want you to focus on that squeeze. Yes, you could pick up the pace if you were so inclined. Three seconds. And stop. Put her down. Let her down. You have your zigzaggy. Dumbbells up. I'm going to go slightly heavier if I zigzag this time. See what I can do. Ready? Go. Two. Punch. Single. Single. Punch. Single. Single. And punch on the third. One. Two. Three. One. Two. And three. <sighs> Come on. Save the course. We got this. Strong committee core team. Strong, strong, strong. One more rep. Stop. That was 30. Let's see what I can do. Zig, 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 zig. Uh, step touch. Step touch. Here you go. Step touch. Step touch. Circle. Come on. Cover some ground. Ten seconds, guys. One more rep. And stop. I'm going to break my ears. Sit down on your mat. You have abs. Ready? Go. You can also go narrow. Remember, anytime you make a wider base, you're going to give yourself more stability. So if I wanted more challenge, I could bring those legs together. Five seconds. Stay with us, guys. Come on, let's finish it strong. We committed. Last one. Get rid of it. We're up. We're up. We are up. Deadlift. Reverse fly. You know the drill. Go. Slide it down. Two down. When I come up, shoulders. Now, think about your wrist staying in neutral. What does that mean? It means my knuckles 
still face the floor. They don't kind of come out like that, okay? So the neutral wrist, keep going, is basically just this. It's how your wrists normally hang. So that's what you're trying to do when you come up. Two down, or wherever you're at, keep going. One more up. One more. One more. You got it. Put it down. Put it down. Russian twist. Let's do 15 on each side. Grab it. 15 each side. Don't matter. Here you go. Now, you'll notice my shoulders are not up here. My shoulders are relaxed. And I'm swinging over with control over that front leg. Taking notice of that toe. This is turned in. I'm going to tweak my knee. I want it straight out. Switch side. So take a look. It's important. Down, twist, and lift. I'm going to finish these. And we're just going to go into some ab moves. One more. Come on up. Excellent. Excellent. You got your twist. Hold it. Ready? Go. Remember, we're trying to get quiet feet. Press the twist. After this, we have those. Reverse slides. 10 seconds, guys. Get it. And stop. Grab your dumbbells. Single, single, double. Ready? Here we go. Pinch forward. It's a single, single. Row. I'm gonna look and keep my neck in neutral and row. Good. Right, left, center. Good. Right, left, center. Right. One more. Right, left, center row. Put it down. Put it down. Excellent job, guys. If you have one finisher move, and we go over the abs. One finisher move. What is that finisher move? I want you to vertical jumps. We're just going to tap, jack. Get ready. 20 seconds on, 10 off. 20 seconds on, 10 off. Let's try it. Two sets. Ready? Go. Down and jack. This is that finisher move. I'm dropping my butt, bending my knees. Whatever you have left, we're using it up. Four seconds. And stop. One more time. Ready? Go. Last one, team. Finish your move. Do it. With all your effort, with all your energy, Full commitment. One more rep. Stop. You did it. Walk it off. Two minutes left. We're going to do some basic abs. I love to go back to the planks. Why? Because that's your foundation. I can't say it enough. We're going to switch between planks. And bicycle crunches. Come on down. Plank. I would encourage you 
to go weighted if possible. If possible, I'm going to encourage you. Pick up a dumbbell and commit. We're going for a minute plank. We don't need to do it more than a minute. Forearm plank. Ready? And go. Forearm plank. Weighted or not. Narrow base. Wide base. Whatever is going to challenge you and your core. So this dumbbell really makes you pull that belly button in and says, hey, if you don't pull me in, you're going to bother your back. You're going to be droopy. So commit to that strong pull in through the core. You're 35 seconds in, team. If you can, I'm going to have you go right to a side plank. If you need a little break in between to readjust, then you do that. You got 10 seconds. Actually, I might need it too because of this dumbbell. And knees down. Knees down. Go over to a side. You guys are regulars. You know your modifications are up and go. You know if you need that knee down or not. But if you do need it down, I would like you to try, just try a couple seconds up. Wowzy woozy, I really feel this 12 pound dumbbell on my side. Stay the course, guys, we're in this together. Remember, this is our sanity. This helps us not to lash out at our people that we love. Our peeps, and you know I'm saying all this because I need to hear it myself. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. And five. And release. Which side? So I do have to tell you, I was getting frustrated the other day, and I'm, I know it's without cause, actually quite selfish, so I'm going to say that up front. Go ahead and come up, um, you know, waiting online to go into grocery stores and such. And then I just told myself, seriously, stop it. There's people waiting on huge lines for food banks. So you catch yourself being crabby or irritated. I'm going to tell you, think about somebody else in a far worse situation than us. And just take yourself back to reality. Come on. Stay the course, hips up. 10 seconds, my friends. We can do it. I can do it because I'm on the video with you. I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna. Three. Two, two, release. Wow. Wow, wow. Flip it over. Your basic bicycle crunches. Now I'm going to tell you, let's go down to the bicycle. Knees at 90. Hands behind the head. And then we're going to work towards just that right leg coming up. Right leg stays put. And I'm going to come up to the right leg. My left leg is extended and less that bothers your back. If it bothers your back, you bring it up. Or you can even put that foot on the floor, okay? Four, three, two, and one. Bring them center. Switch sides, here you go. Lift and squeeze. Quality over quantity, guys. So if you can print these things super, fast, then I would say, hey, add yourself a challenge, maybe an ankle weight to it. I don't even know what number I'm on. One more. Hug them in. Hug them in. Hug them in. Take one of your dumbbells if it's close by and place it down on your shins. Bring the knees back out to 90. Fists are in, elbows in. Come up as high as you can with crunch. Lift and crunch. Now, if you need a little support on your neck, by all means, put one hand back there and give it a little lift. 
my fist is in, I'm not yanking or pulling, okay? Four, three, two, lift and squeeze, stay up, hold, shoulder blades up off the mat, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down, get rid of that dumbbell. One more set of bicycles. Two and two, two each side, ready? Arms up, knees are at 90. Keep going here. Here we go. One, two, switch. Switch it. So it's two crunches and switching it. Normal, natural breathing. I swear it's 80 degrees down here. I gotta sweat a brewing. One more. Hug them in. Hug, hug. Back to one more set of full bicycles. Full. Bring them back to 90. One on each side. But that doesn't mean fast and ugly. Let's keep it quality over quantity. Here you go. Switching it out. Full extension of that leg. Full extension. So planks and bicycles are two basic moves that can be very challenged. Don't confuse basic with not challenging. But there's some of the best moves that you can do. Four, three, two, one more each side. Hug them in. Hug them in, team. You want it. Three minutes. Do a little three minute cool down. If you guys need more, you know the drills. Do more on your own if need be. You're hugging those knees in. You go up towards the ceiling. Reach in, grab them, pull in. So with these cardio strength classes, just trying to mix it up with limited equipment. Um, so we're using the 50 second intervals, 30s, 20s. Um, just know that since we don't you know, have access for everyone to have a bow stew or a step or bands, just trying to keep it with a little bit of variety of what we can. If you have those items at home, you can always incorporate them into the work. Just because I'm not using them doesn't mean that you can't. So again, figure out what's gonna challenge you. We have a great core of people that are very fit and know all these exercises. So again, depending on what kind of day you're having, figure it out, do what works for you, what challenges you, bring them in again. Well, happy baby. I think I'm gonna light some candles tonight and uh, watch one of those restore classes and just take a serious chill. I think that's what I really, really need, so that's what I'm gonna do tonight. Good. Hug them in. Roll it up to seated position, guys. Extend the legs nice and tall. Sit up nice and tall. Right leg goes over left. Bring that opposite elbow in. And I want to take that shoulder back and down. Get a nice seated twist. And I know you guys are all tuning in to uh, the yogas and uh, Joey's core and Monica's bar. And that's excellent. Um, we love seeing you guys on there. It's motivating to see uh, switch sides. We do this for you, but trust us, we do this for ourselves too. Take note of how you felt when you came in or when you started and how you feel now. I feel the world's different. And release that. Wide stand, push our stuff forward, fingertips forward, and then just lengthen out those legs. Drop the shoulders back and down. Walk your feet in. From here, I want you to bend your right knee so you feel a stretch all in the back of that left leg. So my left leg is straight, my right leg is bent. Switch sides. Maybe next week I'll see if I can do with just muscle. And we'll do all muscle classes or all muscle, you know, 45 minute, which I know I would love. 
Both feet, knees are bent. Slowly round and roll it up to the top T. Big shoulder roll. Do that again. Lace your fingers behind your back. Pull those shoulders back and down. And release. One more shoulder roll. And you guys are done.